hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing this most uh weighted deepika paragon look that i've been telling since forever so i'm going to be doing this green look and firstly i'm starting to fill in my eyebrows with my new anastasia beverly hills eyebrow pencil <laughs> yeah so um if you see closely her picture she didn't really have like a very defined eyebrows it was just you know filled in so i'm trying to mimic that over here So after blending it with the spoolie, I'm going in with the Cabrow uh, Benefit Gel, just fixing my eyebrows in place. For primer, I'm going in with my Hangover X uh, Primer by Too Faced. She has a very glowy look, so I'm going in with this primer and after applying the primer and my t-zone i am going ahead with my foundation oh no i'm not <laughs> okay sorry guys i am going to clean up my eyebrows first with my sephora concealer So once I'm done with uh, cleaning, tidying up my eyebrow, I'm priming my lids with the same concealer. And I'm just going to use a tape to, you know, get a very sharp uh, eye shape because she has a very sharp look, eye look. And then I'm going to go in with the Magic Mini Palette by Juvia's and using the shade Buzo. I'm first using a blending brush and using the shade in my crease. So for this look, I'm only going to use one shade which is this shade. Um, Deepika's green is more darker, like it's more emerald shade compared to the green that I'm using. So if you have darker shade, of green you can use that so over here i'm just you know trying to do that trying to diffuse the shade into my crease and then to get more pigment on my lid i'm using a flat uh, brush instead of the blending brush and packing that eye color into onto my lids
So I'm now going to start with my face by first color correcting. I'm going to use the orange shade under my eyes, below my nose and on my chin, wherever I have dark spots. So I'm going ahead with my foundation, I'm using this Rimmel London foundation. I actually wanted to use the Fancy Beauty Hydrating Foundation because she has a very dewy skin. But I couldn't find that um, on that day. I don't know where it is till now. So that's why I'm using this Rimmel London foundation which is also dewy. However, I didn't really like it because it is not really a full coverage foundation. And now I'm going ahead with my concealer again under my eyes, on my nose, forehead, chin and on my sides of my cheeks. So I'm going to contour my face, I'm going to try, attempt to look like the Picasso, I'm just, you know, trying to contour my cheekbones, uh, my jawline, and my nose. Yep, I just attempted to do that, but definitely didn't look anything like her.
So here I am just going to use my Fenty Beauty setting powder. I am just going to use this powder wherever I placed my concealer and I'm not going to bake uh, for this look because her skin is mostly very dewy so I don't want to look very matte so hence I am not baking I am just going to you know push the powder into my skin So to finish off my eye look, I'm going to go in with a green eyeliner for my waterline and I'm also going to use the same Buzo shade to blend out the waterline. As for her inner corner a highlight, I wasn't able to see much but I knew it wasn't anything that was warm so I'm going to go in with my Rose Quartz um, Highlighter by Becca. I'm also using the same shade on my nose as my nose highlight. I think I'll be using that on my cupid's bow if I'm not wrong and on my cheekbones. Yep. And she didn't really have any uh, brow bone highlight so I'm not going to add anything over there. So as for my blush, I'm just going in with a pink blush. Um, she had very light blush that was going on. So I was just trying to put more for me because after this I was going to go out for a shoot. So I thought of just packing it on. And then to set the contour shades, I'm just using the Sephora Bronzing Powder and I'm just going uh, using that powder everywhere that I use the contour shade. So here I'm just applying my falsies, nothing new, just you know applying some cheap falsies from Daiso. And here I'm just using my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced for my top and bottom lashes. So 
So before I use my lipstick, I'm just going in with my setting spray from Urban Decay. And yeah, so here I am all changed in my green dress. So for lipstick, she had a very, very light pink lipstick, okay? So I tried to use this light pink lip liner and then go in with a lipstick that is, you know, pink obviously, but I didn't really like it that much. So I went ahead and used another neutral shade lip liner and went over it to just tone the pink down. So guys, this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can go ahead and not use a falsie or you can, you know, go ahead and use a highlighter for this look, anything that you like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you all in my next video, guys. Bye!